Hey guys, World's Playground here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to download Hybrid i5 onto the PSP Slim or on the PSP Fat. If you're a little curious what it is, this is what it is. Basically, it's a website that you're able to search using your internet browser on your PSP. Now, what this website allows you to do is it allows you to download applications, it allows you to play games, it allows you to use MSN Messenger, change settings, and a whole bunch of really neat things like that. So um, let's go ahead and get into the video on how to get that on your PSP. And please subscribe. I'd really love it if you guys would be able to subscribe. So thank you, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, if you want to make your way over to my description and download, um, uh, or not download, but click the link to go to the website to download the, uh, the, the program, as you can see, I have the uh, website here. So just go ahead and go to the description, and then uh, you'll be brought to this website. It just gives you a little bit of information about the app, or the program itself, um, Hybrid i5. And here's a quick screenshot. Go ahead and scroll down to that little yellow button underneath the advertisement. It says Download. All right. It'll redirect you to another web page, but um, the Download tab should pop up. Just one moment. And... Um, there you go. Um, this little pop-up will give you the ability to, you'll see in a moment, in just a second, open, save, and cancel. Go ahead and click save. I recommend you saving this program to your desktop because it's easier to access. Seeing as how I've already saved this and done all the steps, I'm just going to not download it and go back to my desktop. Now, as you can see, I have the... Uh, the file right here. This is the file you'll see when you download it. It's the non-extracted file. You go ahead and right click on that file and then you'll see extract files. Go ahead and click that and then after you're done extracting the files you'll get a new folder. This folder. It's the extracted one. Go ahead and click on it and you'll see one file. All right. You'll copy that and then paste it in your PSP but I'm just going to show you one thing first. It has a, When you click on it, it has a readme folder. This README folder basically gives you step by step on how to do everything. Alright, so if you guys have any problems, go ahead and open up the README. It even has frequently asked questions, which they answer in this README uh, file or uh, down or saved program as well. Um, so anyway, go ahead and copy that file. Right click on it, and then scroll down and copy. Right now, exit out. Now go ahead, go over to your PSP and uh, connect it to your uh, computer. So make sure you go over to settings and then you go to your uh, USB connection and then go ahead and connect. When this pops up, I can usually click at the bottom, open files and folders, but I want to show you something else really quick. You can go to your start menu and then go to computer and then you pick your like removable hard drive, which is normally your PSP. So anyway, now that I'm into my PSP's files and folders, go ahead and click on the PSP. And then click on Common, not Game. Click on Common. All right. Now, as you can see, I already have Hybrid there. That's because I already right-clicked and then pasted the file which I copied. All right. So now you're um, basically finished using what you need to use on your computer. So making your way over to your PSP. All right. So now that you're done with your um, uh, the work on the computer, uh, make your way over to your PSP and go over to your internet browser under Network. Now load that up. Now what you need to do is you need to press up to go to your address URL and then press X and then um, this comes up. Now this takes a little while. You'll need to type in all of this. File, double, or semicolon or whatever you call that, uh, forward slash PSP, forward slash common, forward slash hybrid, i5, uh, forward slash index dot htm. Anyway, so just um, you could pause the video right now, take a look at what you're seeing, and then put it put it up. But I will have a link in the description of this um, what you this little URL that you'll need to include. All right. Now after you're done that, just go ahead and press start, and then it will load up the the web page. Now if you get an error saying um, content cannot be displayed, it's because you um, put the hybrid i5 in your PSP improperly. I did that at first. So just go ahead and retry the steps which I showed you before. Or it's because you didn't type in the URL properly. Um, I don't think the caps lock's important. So just go ahead and do it as best as you can. 
Um, and if you have problems without doing caps locks, why don't you try putting in the caps locks? All right, now you um, come up to username and password. The username is user, U S E R. I'll type that up now. U S E R. All right, so user is the username. Then you go down to password, and the password is login. Just go ahead and put login. On the end there. And login. All right, so now I got the user and login. User does not look like user, but it says user. All right, so then you go to the login tab, then you press X, and then it loads it up. So this is what you'll see. Um, content cannot be displayed, does pop up a lot for me, but yet I can display all content. So anyway, um, basically you're basically finished. Uh, no more steps you need to follow because now you can explore this um, website on your own. Um, at the top, um, here I'll quickly go to the top. Um, I did show you this before, but you're able to see applications. Um, that means you're da able to download homebrew applications by just using your um, your uh, PSP itself. Now I'm gonna quickly click on one. If I, I don't know if I highlight them. There, I'm, I'm gonna download a calculator. Do you want to run the plugin embedded in the page? Yes. And there you go. You now have a calculator, which is really cool. The thing is, is, you don't download these applications straight to your PSP. You just download them from the website. It's kind of like an application already built in. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I guess before you go, I'm also going to show you the MSN Messenger, which you have on the side here. I'm just recognizing my connection. And there you go. Now you can choose between um, four different kinds of uh, instant messaging. Um, I have uh, MSN Messenger, so I'm just going to click that. And this is where you type in your username and password, and then you move on from there. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Please rate five star. And check out my channel because I got a few other videos on neat applications that you can put into your PSP. Um, I actually could just show you those really quick here. Um, as you can see, I got like a UMD dumper. I got some games, Cube Runner and Xdrum and Ultimate PSP Tube and Halo and uh, Screen Defender. So go ahead and check out my um, uh, channel with a whole bunch of neat videos on what to do and to download fun stuff like that. All right, so thanks for uh, watching, and um, please subscribe and rate five star. And before I get off, you know how you saw some demos or games that I have on there? Well, all you need to do is go on um, Google and type in PSP games or homebrew games, and then all you need to do is download those files, extract files, and then copy it. And then when you plug in your PSP, all you got to do is click PSP game and then copy them into your games folder on your PSP. If that helped, I just felt like mentioning it really quick because I don't know if I'll be making a video on it. All right, so thank you for watching and um, just have a nice day.